<laughs> Can't imagine what you're going through right now. This feels like some kind of hell. How do I do it, B? How do I get through this? You take it. One step at a time. That's all you can do. I love you. I'll help you get through this, right? Can I have a cuddle, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, little man. Oh. oh, look how big you're getting. Just like your dad. <laughs> do you want me to take him for the night so you can get some sleep? No, I'll be right, thanks. He'll be right. Are you sure? It's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Well, I will be next door. Thanks. <laughs> Try and get some sleep, okay? Is everyone gone? How's Rick? Holding up. Just. What a day, huh? <laughs> All these months thinking Brax is gone and now. I can't believe he did that to Rick. And his little boy. And everyone else. They're the ones we need to focus so. on. Heath. Let's get some rest then. Yeah. Hey. hey. What's all this? I'm off to Ricky's to celebrate. We just got engaged. Get out of here. I oh, love it. It's fantastic. Well done. Thanks. Hey, got the champagne. I'll be there at five. Uh, Rick, you there? Yeah, sorry. I'm here. You okay? I'm actually uh, feeling really tired. But you still want me to come over? Yeah, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not every day that you get engaged. Um... Would you hate me if I cancelled? What? Why? I'm just feeling really awful. Um, it's a tummy bug. You sure you don't want me there to look after you? No, I don't want you seeing me like this. It's not exactly romantic. OK, uh, well, we can celebrate tomorrow. But look after yourself, OK? Yeah, we will do. Night. Night. going straight to the house. Just trust me, babe.
thought I'd find you here. You're up early. Couldn't sleep. Understandable. I spoke to Darcy. Her and Harley aren't missing us at all. Getting away with murder, probably. <laughs> yeah. I've been back. A lot of memories. Can you not? Hey. No, I don't want to count exist, okay? I just think we need to talk about this. Back to life. We deal with it. How is it out there? Listen, mate. We went on, mate. Hey. Now what we did. It was all to keep Ricky and Kay safe. Ricky had a right to know. We all did. Thanks, Irene. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers, Good morning. Hey. Uh, how'd you pull up after the wedding? Uh, I was a very good girl. Nice. Have you uh, spoken to Rick? Why? She was feeling a bit rough last night, so just wondering if you'd heard from her. Oh, no. OK, no worries. Cool, sweet. You okay? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, good. Should I see if Josh and Andy are in for some food? Oh, they just left. Do they know about Brax? No. And let's keep it that way, yeah? Less people know the better. Sure. Hey, I was thinking after we know Rick's okay, you and I should go visit Rocco's grave. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Good morning. Sit down, there is toast and juice. Thanks for being amazing. I slept in. I didn't even hear you come and get him. Get him? Yeah, Case, I didn't hear either of you. What are you talking about? Well, he's not in his cot, so haven't you got him? No. <sighs> Kyle? Hey, have you got Case? What? Did you take Casey from the flat? I only just woke up. Well, where is he? Money. Hello. Casey! <laughs> Told the screws about my little operation. Cost me a fortune. Where is he? Well, Brax is dead. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't know where he is. Honestly, I swear to my grave that's the truth. <laughs> you just tell me how much he owes you and, and I'll get it for you. Oh, oh, can you take me instead? But please don't take my little boy. Give me the money. How much do you want? 50 grand by 5 p.m. I'll tell you where we meet. Wait, wait, wait. What about Casey? Money first. And if you even think about talking to the cops, you'll never see a little boy again. <laughs> Trevor, what is going on? We need money. 
Yeah, but this wasn't part of the plan. Plans change. I think I'm gonna be sick. How did Gunno even get out? The prison won't tell me anything. Let's get our heads together. We need a plan. Have you got any access to cash? Well, not that much. And not that quickly. Well, we have some. If you okay. Yeah, same. Me too. Plus, we have the Jim and Angelo's accounts. Right, so we ask around and we see what we can manage. Yeah. Well, the girls do that. We're gonna try to find this dog. Wait a minute. What? How? Dunno. I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Now, you know this bloke. Any idea where he'd be? No. Think. Mate, we were inside together. We didn't sit around and have DMs. Come on, Ash. Does he have any family? Well, not that I remember him mentioning. What about people he used to hang with? No, His I... old crew, did he mention anyone? I don't know. Hang on. He used to talk about the mountains. He said he had a place somewhere near um, a Blackwater. No, Blackheath. It was his uncle's place or something. We'll start there. Wait, would he really go back to where he's from if he's trying to lay low? Yeah, talk about needle in a haystack. It's his old turf. He knows the territory. It's worth a shot. Yeah, he's right. We've got to do something. Rick, will you be okay? Yeah. Because I don't want to go anywhere if you need me to be here. Kyle, you just find him. All right. Hey, and be careful. Remember, the cops could not find out about this. Chapman speaking. Sorry? How did Gunson escape? I'll call if anything happens. You need to be back when we hand over this money. We will be. I love you. I love you too. business account with you for ages. What, so you're telling me th <sighs> the bank won't extend a line of credit without days of processing? Yeah, and all these online places take like 24 hours to transfer the cash. How much do you have in the work accounts? Oh, not much. Maybe 4K, maybe more. I'm going to go and check how much is in the safe, too. So between all of us, we probably have about 10,000. Okay, what else can we try? Anyone we know with a stack of cash? It makes it hard not being able to tell them why we need it. Yeah, but we definitely can't, okay? We can't let the cops find out. I know. We just have to play this really carefully. Thank you. It's all right. Okay, we'll get it sorted. I'm gonna call my dad. Yeah, I said I never would, but this is more important. Thank you. It might not work, but I'll try. There might be someone I can talk to. Some things never change, do they? Oh, my God, Father! <laughs> oh, where did you spring from, oh, girlie? Oh, me, I love a surprise. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. It feels like forever. Well, well, why didn't you ring? Are you staying at my joint? No, no, we're at Kyle's. We? Is he with you? Yeah, he and Kyle have gone off together. I Really good to see you. Oh, you too, love. Have you got the kids with you? No, they're at a friend's, so we thought we'd make the most of it and come say hi. Well, you are a sight for sore eyes. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? I could go a coffee. Me too. <laughs> I'll put one on for both of us and you can tell me all your news. <laughs> no. Ricky. Hi. I'm glad I caught you. Yeah? I just wanted to let you know I got a call earlier and Trevor Gunson, the guy we think is responsible for Rex's accident. What about him? He's escaped from prison. Right. Apparently one of the nurses was in on it with him. Wow. Well, I, I guess I've heard of that sort of thing happening before. Why did you want to speak to me? I just wanted to give you the heads up. It's not clear where he's headed or why, but given his history with Brax, just be careful, yeah? 
Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just crazy busy with work. Right. I should probably... No worries. Still feeling unwell. I just need some rest. Okay, well I'll stay here with you. No, I. I'm not going to leave you while you're feeling like this, all right? So how much are we talking, love? Well, we need fifty thousand all up to cover the deposit. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Must be some house if you're missing love. It really is. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask. It's just, you know. I... I hate talking money with friends. Hey, we're family. But why didn't you ring? You didn't have to come traipsing all this way. It's pathetic enough to have to ask for a loan. The least I could do is see you face to face. Well, I'll never tire of this gorgeous cheeky mug. <laughs> so what do you think? I know it's a lot to ask. It's massive, but now we would pay you back as soon as we could. It's just if we don't get the deposit to them by the end of today, then we're going to lose the place. Love, the thing is, I I don't have a lot of money that's not already tied up in the business. Anything would help? Maybe on my line of credit, I could access 10,000. 10 would be amazing. Thank you, Irene. Love, everything's all right, isn't it? You'd tell me if you were in any sort of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Irene, everything's fine. Thank you. Worst case. Still at Cheryl's. Well, I thought you were picking him up last night. I was. But he was fast asleep. You really don't seem yourself. When did your symptoms stop? <sighs> There are no symptoms. Okay. Nate, I need money. Lots of it. And I need it today. Uh, uh, what for? A debt. Are you in some kind of trouble? Yes. But I can't tell you any more than that. But you want me to lend you money? Can you? How much are we talking? Thousands. Whatever you can come up with in the next few hours. Rick, what's going on? I can't tell you. We're engaged. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll sort it out. Ricky. Rick. I need you to not be here right now.
Why won't that baby shut up? I bought him all that stuff to keep him quiet. Trevor, he's got a temperature. So? So I think he needs a doctor. Be fine. Well, what if he's not? You know, we were supposed to be escaping together. I know. Yeah, well, we've kidnapped a baby. It just worked out that way. If something happens to this kid, that's kidnap and that's murder. Jen, please, listen to me. No doctors, OK? Well, then at least let me drive into town so I can buy something to bring its temp down. Fine. Go on to town. OK. The baby stays here. <sighs> Don't say nothing to no one. No, this is on me. Oh, I never should have let Brax cop that from Gunno. No, it was me, he was after. Let's just find Case. How far? About two Ks. ...en route to a hospital. An ambulance officer and prison guard were found tied up by the side of the road. Police refused to speculate on whether nurse Virginia Isaac is a hostage or an accomplice. She's a nurse from the prison. Can I get some baby paracetamol, please? Sure. Can you tell me how far it is to the nearest hospital? No, in case I have to, like, to get there later. Where are you coming from? Grenfell Road. Well, that's a good 30-minute drive. It's in Lithgow. Can I help you with anything? Uh, no. Yeah, no, I remember her. She started just before I got out. Send us that link. Make sure everyone you can. You got it? Yeah. Sorry to disturb you guys. Sorry, man. Have you seen anything? Hey, mate, did you see this? No? Okay, thank you very much. Sorry, guys. I'm going to say this one more time. Is Mike gone? Yep. I saw him arrive, but I thought I'd wait next door and give you guys some space. Um, how'd you go with your dad? He's on a plane halfway between here and Europe. By the time he gets off, it'll be too late. Sorry. No, don't apologize. This shouldn't be on you. We will keep trying. I, um, I asked Nate. Yeah, and? Um, he wanted to know why I needed the money. You can tell him. No, he'd want to go to the cops. I know he would, and we can't risk that. If he's got the money, he'd only have a bit. It all adds up. Hey, how did you go? I can get 10000 from Irene. That's incredible. Well, she's transferring it now. I'll have to go to the bank. OK, I'll come with you. Also, I forgot to check the safe at the gym. Yep, I'll go on the way. Thanks. So, what, we're looking at 20k? Yeah, about that. That's not close to enough. Not even if I told Nate. OK, what now? Oh, maybe she chucked a Yui. Maybe she just pulled out and took off. I don't know. There, that's okay. Come on. Get 
Tell them why you goose. Hey, love. Hey. Everything all right? Yep. Jeez, Louise, you got a face longer than a wet week. Not exactly the look of a newly engaged man. Oh, dear. You said that serious? I honestly don't know. So, you want to talk to me about it? Do you think if your partner asks you for a big loan, but they won't tell you what it's for, it's unreasonable to say no? Hang on a minute. Ricky asked you for a loan. Yeah. Bianca wanted money too. Well, Bianca's in town. Hmm. Logged up last night. Did she tell you why she needed cash? Apparently, she and Heath have found some house they've fallen in love with and they need help with the deposit. At the same time, Ricky needs a loan. God save Ireland. What have they got themselves into? transfer comes through in time. Faith? Sorry. Hey, what if they're doing the wrong thing? What do you mean? I mean, Casey's been kidnapped, B. How can we not be calling the cops? Gunson made it very clear. Yeah, I know what he said, but this is massive. The police are better equipped to deal with this than we are. Okay, I thought you were on board with this. Yeah, okay, I am. But the guys are on some crazy road trip to nowhere. We're running around getting a bag of cash together. It's getting out of hand. Yeah, I agree. Okay, but it's what we need to do, and it's what Ricky wants. Okay, but what if something goes wrong? What if Casey gets hurt? Okay, we just need to stay calm, get this done, and keep the cops out of it, okay? Come on. Okay. Bianca! Hi! There you are. Oh, yeah. What's up? Why don't you tell me? What do you mean? Oh, come on, love. I didn't come down in the last shower. I know that Ricky's asked Nate for some dough. Bit of a coincidence, don't you think? Now, would you like to tell me what's going on? Yeah, Irene, there is something going on. I, I can't tell you what. I, we just really need that money. <sighs> Love, are you in some sort of danger? Can you just... Can you just do this for me, please, Irene? You know, I talked to the pharmacist. He said that the hospital is at least a 30-minute drive from here. Cops are looking for us. We can't afford any more trips in a town. Yeah, well, what if the medicine doesn't work? Then it doesn't work. You're all over the news, too. Well, what are we even doing here? I mean, we we made plans. We've, we've mapped out a life together. Talk to me! Fine. Where are you going? I'm leaving! Why the hell are you up? You don't go anywhere. You don't move. You don't breathe unless I tell you to. Do I make myself clear? Hey, 
Heaps. Hey, what's up? Got two six? Yeah, sure. Why? Sorry, uh, uh, Bianca, Cat, Cat, Bianca. <laughs> Cat's a roomie, and Bianca used to live in town. I've heard your name before. You're married to Brax's brother, right? For better or worse. <laughs> Are you in town for long? No, just a quick visit. We've got to get back to the kids. Well, it was nice to meet you. And you? Uh, shall I leave you guys to it? It's OK. I just wanted to ask about Ricky. Why? Well, I spoke to her earlier to tell her about a prison break, Trevor Gunson. Yeah, we heard about that in the news. Ugh. Sounds pretty crazy. He'd obviously been planning it for a while. What's that got to do with Rick? She was a bit off. Not quite herself. We're headed back to the house now. We can, we can check on her. OK. You'd tell me if something was going on, right? Totally. Everything's fine. Better make a move. It was, um, it was great to meet you. I'll see you around sometime. Yeah. I think it was her. Yeah, we reckon so. And no sign of Case or Guy? No, not yet. At least we're close. The exchange is in a couple of hours and we don't have the money. It's OK, Rick. We'll keep looking for as long as we can. OK. Um, we'll just keep me posted. Will do. So what are we looking at? Uh, 21. Almost half. Who else can we ask? Nate. Hi. How's you in town? Oh, it's good to see you. Are you well? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Have you got a minute? Thousand. It's all I've got. If you need it, you need it. I really do want to tell you. Your Bianca obviously knows. Irene told me that she had sent her some money. But if you don't trust me enough it's to tell me. It's not about trust. It's just. I'll tell you as soon as I can. Thank you. I'll leave you to it. this woman or this guy what's going on they've escaped from prison it's been on the news she was in here earlier yeah yeah she asked an odd question which was well she bought some baby paracetamol and then asked how long it'd take to get to a hospital from out on Grenville Road thanks
I've been on this road for ages. And there's nothing here. No, wait, it's a cut. Sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. We'll go around the back. You take the front. Yeah. Got my money. Really? Mm. Bringing everything forward, grab a pen, write this down. Wait, wait, wait. Forward? To when? One hour. One hour. But I'm not ready. I'm not asking you, Blondie. I'm telling you. All right. Yeah. Yep. OK. Look, is Casey all right? One hour. We can't do it by then. We're 18,000 short. There's no way we'll make it back by then. Just hurry up. This is way too big for Ricky to handle on her own. No, I know, just keep us number. Let's go. Gunno brought the meeting forward. He's already on his way. Well, one of us should stay. What for? In case he comes back. But he doesn't know we know about this place yet. Right, you stay. So the place that Gano wants to meet is 45 minutes from here. There's no way that the boys are going to make it back. Maybe it's better they're not there. You know how things get out of control. This way, we give the cash, we get case, and no one gets hurt. Yeah, but what if he sees that not all the money's there and he doesn't give back Casey? Really try and don't something. tell me that everything's going to be OK because we don't know that. What if he takes the money and drives off and we we can't find him? B, give me your phone.
money. Open the bag. And chuck it through the window. I want my baby. Money first! It's not 50 grand. That's all I could get. You didn't give me enough time. Do you think I'm stupid? Yeah, yeah, I went to the bank and then to Ricky's. And then I went for a walk. So you gave her the money? Yeah, what choice do I have? She needs it. No idea why? Whatever it is, it must be pretty serious. Yeah. Which is why I, I don't get why she won't tell me. If she's in trouble, I want to help. I'm a fiance. What the flippin' heck are they doing? If it's this bad, they should be calling the cops. Yeah, exactly. Well, love, I guess we've got no choice other than to trust that they know what they're doing. Trust. Trust is what I wish that she would do with me. How are you supposed to marry someone if they won't tell you the truth? Oh, come on, love. I think you're getting a bit ahead of yourself here. That girl loves you to bits. Not enough to let me in. Hey, cat. Uh, what can I do you for, love? I was hoping to have a word with Nate. Ah, be my guest. <laughs> um, I'll get out of your hair. Thank you. Hey, what's up? It's about Ricky. Have you spoken to her today? Briefly. This morning, why? Trevor Gunson escaped from prison. Oh, the guy that Brax was in jail with? I warned Ricky about it earlier, and she seemed weird. Phoebe, too, when I spoke to her about it. And now I found out that Brax's brother and sister-in-law have made a surprise visit into town. So? So I was wondering if you knew what was going on. Nate, if there's something I need to know, please tell me. Trevor Gunson is beyond dangerous. I don't know anything. Ricky's fine. Come on, Nate. Cat, honestly, there's... There's nothing I can tell you. Okay. Thanks. We should have followed. It's too risky. If it leaves this way, we can track him. What if Gunno finds it in the bag? What if he, he realizes what we've done? It's our best bet. Where is he now? On the freeway, back towards the mountains. Try Heath again. Rick, what's going on? It's Bianca. Where have you been? Out of range. What's happening? She gave him the money. It wasn't enough. He's still got Casey. Drive off. Scumbag. How long ago? About 45 minutes. But wait, my phone's in the bag. It has find my phone. Where is he? Looks like he's headed back to the mountains. Right. Text us your login details. We'll track him from our phones. OK. Be careful. Will do. You better tell Ash. Yeah. It's gone straight to message bank. What are you doing? Being careful.
out in Nashville. Long time no see. Come on. Where's Casey? Sit down. He's just a kid. I cute... said sit down. Now you're going to tell me what I want to know. I don't know where Brax is. I don't I... believe you. I want him gone. I want to find him and finish the job myself. sure he doesn't cause us any more trouble. Come here, baby. Come here. I want to make it up to you. I'm sorry. I was scared. Yeah. I don't want to hurt the baby. We don't have to hurt the baby. We can keep the baby. We'll keep the baby for insurance. And we've got money. There's not a lot, but it's enough to get us started. Where are the keys? I don't know. What? Don't... Jim, take the kid and go. Well, what about you? I'll meet you where we said. So let's just, just all take the kid and go! Somewhere. They kind of got far. There. Nephew. 
You're one of the brothers. Hey. Where's Casey? My friends tell me you have a wife and kids. I could have some fun with them. Yeah. Good. Call Ricky. Meet me back at the car. We've got Casey. Thank you. 